This video is sponsored by codingskill.net. Please visit our sponsor. Let's work through the problem to find the largest integer in a given list. In the problem decomposition step, we split the list by half. So if we have nine elements, splitting this in half will give us five, one, 12, and four, and two, five, six, three, and seven. These are the two sub problems. The input is the entire list. The result is seven which is the largest element. In the reduction step, the first subproblem has the largest element 5. The second subproblem has the largest element 7. What do we need to do in the combined step to get the final result? We need to find the maximum of the output of the two subproblems. The recursive function can be defined as this beautiful function shown here. We can now write the code for finding the largest element in a given list. The maximum method takes one parameter, a, which is a list. The base case handles a list with one element. For the recursive case, we find the middle index of the list. We then have two recursive calls, one for the first half and the second for the second half. We capture the output of the subproblems in variables m1 and m2. We then return the max element of those two values. There are two versions for the implementation version 1 that takes one parameter and version 2 that takes three parameters. The second version has parameters for lower and upper limit. This version is faster but may produce runtime errors for large lists. Here is the code for the second version. The base case checks if lower and upper limit are the same. If so, it returns the element in that index. The recursive case is similar to earlier version. The only difference is that we pass in values for second and third parameters. We can compare the code of both versions. The base cases of the first one uses the array for determining if uh, array contains one element, whereas the second version uses the lower and upper limit to find one element array. The middle is computed by using the array length in the first version, whereas the second version uses the lower and upper limits. And the recursive call uses three parameters in the second version, whereas we just use one parameter in the first version. Sign up for your free coding interview coaching call. Fuck. Sign up for your free coaching call by going to codinginterview.coach.